Let's see if this new mosquito bar stuff works. It's a little strange. Feels like wax. Mmm. Buenos dias. so big, but I can't get my makeup off without it. <laughs> Getting a good zip on that, aren't you? Woo! Spell! Get ready to see that for That's right! Gotta get my hair did to get my hike on. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> I'm such a diva, this is gonna be interesting. Go. Yeah. Team Got all our bags packed. Uh, packed. Didn't sleep very long last night. Maybe about three hours or we, so. We didn't even start packing until like 12, 12. or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. So now we've uh, we've got everything done now, yeah. and I think that we've got everything that we need. Not too much. Not too little. Even though our packs are a little tight. But our day, they're our day packs, they're small. They're not even like a four day pack. These are literally go to the beach and come back packs that we're using as a four day pack. So this should be interesting because it's kind of tight um, and we've got plenty of bags to keep our, our stuff dry on yeah. this uh, this trip, so. Yeah, and everything organized in little pouches, so. Yeah, so now we gotta head downstairs. Uh, our ride should be here. Expo Tours is providing the ride. That uh, is part of the deal, I guess, so uh, here we go. Rock and roll, see ya. Are you excited? I'm excited. Yeah, what's your, what is, what are you excited about exactly? The history. I'm excited about the history and like really tapping into nature and seeing some animals and a lot of animals, hopefully some beautiful wildlife and just gorgeous nature and just yeah. being immersed in ancient culture. Oh, that's going to be so, so cool. Excited. So something about Ciudad Perdida, which uh, in English it's basically the lost city, is that it is dated before Machu Picchu. I don't know how they do that, how they do all that <laughs> dating. There's something called carbon dating and all sorts of stuff like that. Yep. Um, but that is pretty, pretty cool. Yep. Another thing that we learned uh, just by reading some blog posts online, which is a great source of, uh, of reliable information, is that um, there are only about 8,000 people or so that travel through Ciudad Perdida each year yep. while in Machu Picchu, there's about 5,000 per day reach that the travel. Summit yeah, of reach Machu the, Picchu. Yeah, reach, reach the summit. Yeah, and um, only 10% of what we, well, supposedly what we read was only 10% of Ciudad Perdida has even been revealed so far and excavated. So this is going to be pretty magical and so yeah, I'm excited to meet some of the, the local tribe people through the, the Koki. Koki. Yeah. Yeah. So. Cool. Here we go. Hey there, adventure friends. Hi. So we are on the adventure. We're about an hour maybe into uh, dr the drive. Yeah. Yeah. We're all... Uh, Stuffed in the van. It's cool. Yeah. Um, meeting some good people, having some good combos from all over the world. 
Yeah. Right now we're hanging out with some Pit some stop. burros. Pit stop. Burros, Thousand, burros. Thousand pesos. To use the girls' bathroom. <laughs> you know they gotta keep that thing clean somehow. It's a hose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, we're gonna continue this journey to Ciudad Perdida. Woo! Adios. Got our first meal and it looks delicious. Looks like it might be patacones with rice and beans and some slaw of some kind, maybe. We just started the hike. We're on step number 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, that's quite a few I got steps. I down a stick. Not sure if I want the stick. We'll see once we get in there. I might pass it down yeah. another generation. Yeah. So uh, this is going to be a four day trek. It's going to be 60 kilometers in total, which is pretty wild. 30 there and 30 back. So here we go. So far, it's been uphill. Spicy. <laughs> Spicy. Uh, dirt roads, super dusty. Imagine that this is just covered in mud during rainy season. Um, and it's pretty humid out. Yeah, it is. Look at my face. <laughs> <laughs> Off to more steps. Day one is going great so far. We're a little over an hour in and uh, it's, humid. it's very humid. It's very uphill. It's beautiful though. Oh, really the higher gorgeous. we get, the more beautiful the landscape yeah. is turning. Yeah, it's so pretty. The superito. <laughs> Pineapple normally is impossible to have the seed of this to grow in again. <coughs> but the pineapple they produce this piece. Can we use it? This is a flower. Mm -hmm. But at the same time we can cut, make it a hole, and we can put the flower and then they can grab a new plant again. Nice. How's it going? Good. Challenging, but good. Challenging, but good. <laughs> How about you? It's going pretty good also. Um, it hasn't <laughs> rained yet, but I'm completely soaked, so I might have you fooled. <laughs> hasn't rained. It's just super humid up here. And uh, there was a breeze earlier, but it's gone. So uh, it's nice and calm. No more Brisa Loca. No Brisa Loca, so we'll sweat. And also no more unce music going on, which okay. is quite nice. Oh, let's catch up. All right, let's go. Day one is going great today. We finally got off of the dirt packed road and we're kind of on like a, a mule track now. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's so beautiful. Listen to the cicada symphony, all the birds. It's 
It's really nice. Absolutely beautiful. On one side, we've got mountains just like soaring up above us. And on the other side, we've got steep cliff drop-offs on a single track. Uh, we've had several mule companies coming by us. The guys uh, have their, their trusty dogs with them and uh, their machetes. And some of them are hauling supplies while others are coming back empty. So maybe they already dropped off to all their stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Quite an operation they got here. Yeah, so it's uh, 30 kilometers straight up to Ciudad Perdida and 30 kilometers back, total of 60 kilometers during this whole trip. Not all done today, done over four days, which is quite exciting. Um, our group is kind of spread out now. Everybody's kind of found their own groove, their own pace, and uh, we're really enjoying it. Yeah, we've kind of got the trail to ourselves for the most part, which is really nice. Yeah, first shout. <laughs> Farmers call it Quarantana, 41, 40. Because this plant in 40 days have new leaves for the business. And for it, and this is the Colombian type. This need more time, almost three months for half, three months or more for half the leaves. the leaves again. And this type, the in the time of the narco traffic this area bring here this plant for the make up the laboratories or the for the coca plants or to make the cocaine use it this plant now only can you can see it and the indigenous is lonely people in colombia can have this plant of the coca because it's for the traditional use the coca leaves we made it to camp Sweaty as ever. We're here. There's Brian. Sounds way. We have arrived okay. to the camp called Alfredo. Our fearless guide has taken us here, and we're doing High awesome. Five. <laughs> Good job. Monkeys? <gasps> oh. Uh, the rules are, are is nothing dirty in the beds, nothing sweaty in the beds, and no backpacks in the beds, okay? If you follow me, you can see it use your beds, okay? Follow me. So we found our beds. Erin's getting her stuff ready. Look at these things, aren't they cool? Yeah. Yeah, we've got like our own little mosquito-free zone. At least I'm going to keep mine mosquito free. I'm going to keep mine mosquito free. <laughs> mosquito free is uh, good. Yeah, so should be pretty nice. It's time to hit the showers. Shower time. We made it to our bunk. Good evening, Hi, adventure boy. friends. <laughs> <laughs> we made it to our bunk bed. Um, we're trying to decide. We're trying to decide whether we are going to share the bunk or whether we are going to Separate. Yeah, yeah, these are twin size beds. Yeah, uh, it's pretty warm in here right now. Yeah, but we might share it just to see see how it goes here at the end of day one of Ciudad Perdida. Uh, but yeah, so far. It was a good day. Yeah. I held the parrot, which you did. is amazing. Brian did too. Yeah. That was definitely like one of my big highlights because I've been bird obsessed lately. She has been bird obsessed. Like, mm -hmm above and beyond bird obsessed, which is pretty cool. I've been really enjoying the birds here. They're amazing. Yeah. Um, so I got to hold one for a while, looked her in the eye. Her name was Paula. Mm -hmm. She was beautiful. Yeah, she didn't weigh much, maybe like three quarters of a pound, maybe. Like she was super lightweight, right? Yeah. Other than spending a great day with Brian, that was like at the top of my list. Another <laughs> funny thing that happened is we watched a monkey drinking beer. Yeah, he drank a, like not a lot of beer, but a lot for his little tiny body. Yeah, and he was like falling backwards off the rock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was. It was pretty hilarious. Poor little guy. Yeah, I don't condone it. No, definitely <laughs> or, or, uh, not. Not condone. Don't support. I don't, I don't recommend trying to get monkeys drunk. But yeah, 
That monkey seems like he's at his first rodeo. Yeah, and we do know that there's a lot of monkeys in the world who like to do that sort of thing. Yeah. I enjoy a cold beer every once in a while. <laughs> Speaking of monkeys. Speaking of monkeys. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, this is the end of day one. Uh, the hike went really, really well. And uh, we got to do a lot of really cool things like hike yeah. uphill. Yeah. Tomorrow, day two, it's gonna be even more intense. Yeah. yeah. And we're gonna get to um, go to a couple indigenous villages. Mm -hmm. So it should be pretty special. Yeah, so stay tuned to part two of potentially four. Potentially four. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so that you're notified every Monday, Wednesday, Friday that we come out with a new adventure travel video or maybe it might be some inspirational video that can mm -hmm. help change your mindset around making stuff happen in your life. That's right. So until next time, friends. Adventure on. Adventure on. Bye.